is, is the Mark IV here. So, um, as I said, this is the next generation Mazda MX-5, um, the Mark IV. Now, it's hard to believe that 25 years ago, um, the success of this car really was in doubt due to the industry and how two cars, two seat sports cars were at the time. So I'm really, really glad to say that 25 years later, this car has been a fantastic success and you guys really have helped us with that. And it's, as I said, great to see um, all of you guys here today um, supporting the MX-5. Now, we know how much you guys love the original, the Mark I, the pure driving fun, the no frills, the open top sports car fun and we know that you also want another car that's just like that. So the Mark IV, it really does go back to the roots of the original, back to the Mark I. We get that amazing pure open top sports car fun, as I said. Now, obviously you can't see it, but when you have a look at it, you need to look at the dimensions of it. It's actually the shortest MX-5 ever to be produced. It's also the, um, we've also lowered the height, we've lowered the bonnet, and also it's got a much lower centre of gravity. In terms of the driving position as well, the driving position is slightly further back in the car, giving you that real connection with the road. Um, now also, the, the wide stance at the front is the widest MX-5 ever to be produced. This also gives us a really fantastic presence on the road as well. Now what all this means is obviously not only we have a fantastic looking car, um, but also we retain those fantastic driving dynamics. Ooh, doing it again. weight distribution, the lightweight chassis, this is about 100 kilograms lighter than the Mark III. Um, we've also got the rear wheel drive as well. But in addition to that, we also have our fantastic new Skyactiv technology featured on this car. Also the latest in-car um, infotainment entertainment system as well. So what this means is not you get the best of both worlds really. So we get that great fun drive, we also get the latest technology as well. Now, it's not only us that's saying this car's great. You might have seen it on Top Gear recently. Anybody see it on yeah. Top Gear? Yeah. yeah, fantastic. Obviously, it was on the last ever Top Gear, so clearly... Uh, <laughs> sorry, what was that? What's Top Gear? So, uh, obviously, yeah, it was the last ever Top Gear, so clearly they just couldn't follow up with anything better than this car, so they had to stop making the show altogether completely. So there we go. Um, now we first saw this car back in September in Barcelona and we've actually got a celebrity here today because Roger was the first MX-5 owner to sit in a Mark IV even though he wasn't really allowed to so thanks for that Roger. I think you did that twice as well which was uh, great. Thanks for that. Caused us all a bit of a scare but anyway there we go. <laughs> um, now, yeah, so you just went away. Thanks. Um, now, as I said, we really do appreciate your affection over the years for, uh, for Mazda and obviously for the MX-5 as well. And to be honest, without your support, I would be managing family cars now. So thanks for that. I really appreciate that. And it's also great to speak to so many of you as well about your, your passion about the car. I really do feed that back to Japan as well. And we all really do appreciate your, uh, your support for the car. Um, now, some of you may have seen that we are going to be the central feature mark at Goodwood this year. So hopefully we'll see quite a few of you there. So you can come and see us. It's going to be a hell of a show. So please do uh, get your tickets and come and see us there. Um, there will be a competition to win some tickets, but um, Ian will be able to talk to you about that later. I haven't told him yet, so I uh, hope he's not having a heart attack. Um, so, before I actually reveal the car, um, I just want to let you guys know this is a prototype. So bear in mind it is quite delicate. So if you wouldn't mind staying behind the, uh, the barriers, we can't let you sit in it unfortunately, but um, obviously you can uh, have a look at the car. Are we ready? Come and join me. Um, we are here to take your questions today, so please come and speak to us. We're happy to talk to you about the car and uh, have a fabulous day. Should we do a countdown? Okay, so we've got to take the top off first. Thank you. 